In Cook County, which includes Chicago, all eyes are on the neck and neck race to replace embattled state's attorney Kim Fox after election authorities realized there were 10,000 votes mistakenly left out. This race is now up for grabs between attorney Clayton Harris III and former judge Eileen O'Neill Burke. News Nation's Kelsey Kernstein is looking into the ballot issues here, so we still have no winner. You know, Marnie, it could really be quite some time before we know who the winner is. Like you said, all eyes are on this race, and really the big question now becomes election integrity. How does such a massive number of mail-in ballots not be tallied up on election day? According to the Chicago Tribune, as of last night, take a look at your screen here, former Judge Eileen O'Neill Burke is leading over Clayton Harris III by less than 1%. That's roughly 1,500 votes separating these two candidates out of about a half a million votes. This is a dramatic change because just after Election Day, O'Neill Burke was 10,000 votes ahead of her opponent, only to find out that 10,000 mail-in votes were left off over the weekend. We know these ballots are now being accounted for, and the election board admitted to making the mistake. They blamed it on speed over accuracy. You're looking at a human error, and he's standing in front of you. Uh, He did not add two and two together in the rush. It may not be until April 2nd that we will know the winner of this race, but leaders do expect that we will learn much sooner than that deadline. Important to also note here that if the losing candidate is within 5% of the winner, that can ask for a re- they can then ask for a recount of the vote, which could then extend the entire process. The winner of this race, they will be on the ballot come November, and they are expected to be the favorite. But let's remember that this election could have major implications for the future of the criminal justice system, as it is taking place in one of the most populous counties in the country. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.